Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up to sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So, post fight review to Dillian White versus Marius Wack. Now, this fight went the way that I thought it was going to go in the sense of it was going to go into the final round. Now, this was a 10 rounder, it was short notice for both guys. Dillian White has only really been training properly for like the last six or seven weeks. Marius Wack, he's been having a pretty decent camp in the sense of he was meant to be fighting at um, a couple of weeks later. So, he was already in camp, but both guys did get short notice. Marius Wack has a chin of granite a chin of steel whatever you call it and of course Dillian White came in on the scales quite heavy so I expected either Dillian White to come out very very strong and try and blast him out and if he couldn't then box his way to a victory or it was just going to be a sluggish performance from Dillian and just eke his way to the win and that's exactly what Dillian White done where he took in the distance he was landing some very very good shots on Maris Wack, but it was a very very sluggish performance from Dillian that's for sure with all the things that's been going on it's no great surprise is it really but now hopefully coming into the new year he can then settle down focus get himself back into condition do proper training proper camp and all that kind of thing going forward and show us what the Dillian White was previously because this wasn't the same Dillian White um, any fighters out there any heavyweights looking at this performance thinking you know what I might actually have Dillian White's number on this performance but at the same time Dillian was landing some very very good shots of Marius Wack and Marius Wack was never really in any kind of trouble because he's got one hell of a duel um, he really had Dillian White was using the body quite well Marius Wack was getting through with some pretty good shots in himself he had a pretty okay left hook but it was the right hand that was landing on Dillian quite a bit but I think maybe some of it was, I think it was round two or round three, I think that Marius Wag was starting to use his thumb on the face of Dillian White and I think the thumb got into the eye and scratched the uh, corner cheek of uh, Dillian, which may have been causing him a few problems. Uh, 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 Dillian's uh, right side of his face was looking not in the best of conditions, it really, really wasn't, but I think a lot of that was down to the thumb. Even Mark Tibbs was telling the referee around about round six or round seven that he needs to be watching out for Marius Wack with his thumb. So, ultimately, it was a fight that was, it wasn't a great fight. It, it's not really one that you're going to watch on the replay and go, yeah, it's going to be a fight of the year. It was nowhere near fight of the year, but it was a performance. It was a way for Dillian White to get back in the ring after several months away with everything that he's gone through. What do we really expect? We're not going to see a fresh, rejuvenated Dillian White. We're going to see that in 2020. But either way, Dillian White, congratulations on a very, very solid win. Um, I gave... Uh, Dillian White, seven, potentially nine, eight rounds, sorry, eight or nine rounds out of the ten. I think Marius Wack, you could, you could probably give him one or two of the rounds. But ultimately, either way, it was a decent performance from Dillian, considering everything that he's gone through, with the fact that he wasn't in the best of condition either. But either way, big up, Team Body Snatcher. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.